You all know me as a slay the house down boots, fabulous queen of the fashion and jokes. But like an onion, I have layers. I have interacted with most of the senior class. In fact, I was told by more than one person they thought I was mute freshman year. I am definitely not a social butterfly. But today I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna share my philosophy and just my way of going through life with all of y'all. And so, my story begins. <gasps> Well, hello, wandering traveler. It seems you were sent here by Ethan Robinson, is that correct? For a story of his life. Hmm, interesting. Well, I will see what I can do with my totally legitimate crystal ball, which can be yours for $29.99 if you'd like. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> Screaming, crying, suffering, blood! <gasps> Is this hell? No, it is simply the birth of an angel named Ethan Robinson. After birth, he became a French seductress, an explorer of the wilderness, a twin, a bull cut body, a professional model, and a plotting and scheming supervillain. One of the worst I hear. Slowly passing through the years, unaware of what's to come. And at the age of eight, his mother died. <coughs> oh, sorry. And the depression came. Not many photos exist from this era, it seems. In fact, I'm only picking up one. His eighth grade yearbook photo. <coughs> oh, the horrors. After years of hiding and being bullied by the world, Ethan arrived at high school and he finally began to accept himself. Now, before you stands a confident man ready to take on the world. Well, I'll leave the rest of the story to him, the man himself. Now, I haven't been on this earth for long, and I haven't really experienced that much, but I have learned some things about life. I want to live life like a tree. I want to be grounded in the earth, sinking my roots deep into the soil, and I want to flow in the wind like the leaves, going with the changing currents of the air. A tree is a perfect symbol of my way of living, a natural pillar of stability with the ability to adapt. I want to live life more slowly and purposefully, to slow down and actually live in the present moment. We move through life so fast, and before you know it, it's over. I want to savor the time we've been given, and to slow down. I mainly strive to live in the present moment, to not stress about the future or past. Why should something that hasn't happened yet cause me so much anxiety? And something that has passed, and can't be changed, plagued my mind. These things shouldn't be causing me so much stress. Slowing down to enjoy the simple things in life has really helped me improve my quality of life. I have fallen in love with living. I have learned to appreciate the small random moments that make life interesting. I encourage all of you to slow down, but this does not mean becoming stagnant. You still need to grow and work towards your goals, live life purposefully, and make use of the time you have. Do not fail to act on your dreams. I want you to slow down to appreciate time, not to completely waste it. By slowing down and focusing on experiencing life, I have truly fallen in love with living. My last bit of advice is to take time to find yourself. Self-love and confidence is so important. Like I cannot stress how essential it is. Life becomes so much easier when you feel confident in yourself. Maneuvering through social interactions, through relationships, and through your professional life becomes so much easier when you know your self-worth. The journey of self-love is long and hard. I hated myself all throughout middle school and through most of high school. But with a lot of self-reflection, I realized what in the world am I doing? I am an amazing person. I'm a beautiful and gorgeous person and no one can change that. Life is way too short to go through it not believing you are literally a god and a goddess. 
So please just love yourself and have confidence in yourself because I guarantee you all of you are amazing people and deserve self-confidence and self-love. My journey of self-discovery was difficult, but my friends helped. You all helped me accept myself and uncover my inner self. I have been shy all my life and I still kind of am, but y'all have really helped me come out of my shell. I truly love and appreciate all of my friends. I love all of you amazeball peoples. Thank you all for listening. I really hope you've learned something and I hope my advice can help you. I wish you all the best because you all deserve the best. I'm going to do great things and I know all of you will as well. Thank you. Finally. <gasps> you know, so annoying. <laughs>